There's one last favor I ask of you There's one last favor I ask of you See that my mind's kept clean It's a long, long lane and it got no end So, what am I going to use? Muck off motorcycle cleaner a lot of people say it's got a lot of salt in it, but you're not leaving it on for very long. And um, once it's agitated, it does take your crap off your bike pretty quickly. On top of that, we're gonna be using a combination of a couple of other things. Um, this Bright Max Clean uh, shampoo, which is uh, sold by the car market. I'll have a um, small amount of that alongside some Dodo Juice Supernatural, which is an old school, really good uh, car shampoo. And we'll also be using uh, a couple of other products, including um, some all purpose cleaner from uh, Meguiar's as well. So give the bike a good pre soak, and then from that, we should use um, a very, very light sponge and shampoo to get rid of all the crap. The bike's covered um, already in a sort of ceramic coating uh, made by these guys, G-Technic. So it's got a coating of uh, C1, which is a crystal lacquer nano coat. And then on top of that, it's got a booster, which is called Exo. So it's got that on top of it. Um, it's a specialist application, so you have to be careful how you put it on, but it's well worth looking it up. Um, to give the bike a bit of a sort of life shine protection. There's a few more of my other little bits and bobs there. I've got some panel wipe, which is essentially um, an alcohol wipe, uh, a couple of pieces um, from other manufacturers as well. Some Dodo Juice um, clay lube there for claying away tar, helmet and visor cleaner, and some wheel brightener and glass cleaner from Auto, sorry, from um, Meguiar's. Uh, Auto Barn from Swiss Vax. It's a really good uh, paste wax, which uh, goes onto the wheels and um, gives you sort of a about three to six months protection on a motorbike makes the wheels cleaning uh, wheel cleaning a lot easier so that's my collection and then I use a combination of various microfibers and towels uh, and a good quality wash mitt this is a um, dodo juice uh, it's called the Wookiee's Fist uh, it's very soft um, made of wool and you just chuck it through the washing machine after every couple of washes. Um, use a wash bucket and then have a grit guard in the bottom of the bucket as well to make sure that you're not picking up the dirt, putting it back on the paint and scratching it. So as you can see, the bike's covered in loads of bug splatter and crap from the roads. Still got the uh, tire product from where the tires were fitted the other day. There's crap all down the side of the fairings and loads of crud, um, generally mud and grease and dirt from where I was riding in the rain. Uh, chain, reasonably clean, I cleaned it not long ago, um, actually last week, but that could do with a little bit more um, protection, so I'll put some specialist chain wax on there. And as you can see, the exhaust is humming. So I'm gonna put some pre-cleaner on now and let it all soak in, uh, give it a pretty thorough, rinse off with a um, probably not with a jet wash at this time um, and then attack it with a uh, soft brush and a wash mitt and some shampoo once I've got rid of all the surface dirt so to start off I'm giving the bike a really liberal coat um, all over of the uh, muck off all purpose cleaner go around the whole bike Getting up into all the uh, nooks and crannies. Still got a crack in the fairing there. Just waiting to uh, get that replaced. It's going to be cheap from BMW. Yeah, get it all over the exhaust, all over your metal shiny bits, all underneath. Don't be afraid to use it in you know, good supply. It's not cheap, but um, places like Infinity down in Camberley. They had two for one offers on the big bottles today, so you can get it with good discounts.
So now I've gone over the bike with the muck off. I'm now just gonna let that dwell for a few minutes, but top this up with a general all round spray of um, some all purpose cleaner. This particular one, although it's in the Meguiar's bottle, is uh, something called G101, um, which is a product I'll show you shortly. Uh, it's an all purpose cleaner. It's extremely good, particularly for uh, car use, but you'll see here now, it cuts through uh, grease and grime pretty much on contact and this is heavily diluted with water as well so it goes a long way but it gets right in and cuts away at all the surface dirt so I highly recommend it and it's also pretty good just to use as a base cleaner for wheels but it will get rid of all of the muck and road dirt, road grime that's all over the bike so it's well worth a uh, well worth a look See if you just spray it, see how dirty the exhaust is there. Once it's thoroughly coated, try not to spread too much on the chain. I mean, you're going to clean off quite a bit of surface dirt from the chain there, but get it into all the uh, nooks and crannies. And again, this the longer this is left to activate, the better it performs. But you don't want to let it dry out. So as it starts to dry the water when you rinse it will reactivate it and get it down into all the holes for you which is quite useful and a good pre-soak like this saves energy when it comes to cleaning with a you know traditional bucket and sponge so that's the product there G101 multi-purpose non-caustic cleaner from AutoSmart Look up AutoSmart online, it's trade use cleaning products. You'll be able to get them from your local AutoSmart dealer who can bring them around your house, you can pick them up from uh, their locations. So while that's all soaking, two squirts of Dodo Juice Supernatural and then into the bucket, I'm also gonna pour in about one and a half fluid ounces a bright max clean you don't need as much for a car obviously you're only using it for a bike but you can also use the dregs at the end of the wash to clean the wheels um, for the wheel cleaner I also use a, uh, a wheel cleaner from auto smart called smart wheels which is very effective I actually just run out of that so I'll be just using the all-purpose cleaner and a brush on this occasion So I've rinsed the bike off now, it just took me two minutes. As you can see, between nice. thank you, <laughs> between the muck off and uh, the all-purpose cleaner, it's taken probably 95% of the surface dirt off. Um, and a lot of how that's been made to be done so easily as you like, if you like, sorry, is because it's got the G-Technic coating on there already so that, that aids the cleaning process you know with a hot jet wash at a garage um, you can pretty much bring it up to 95% every single time so if you've been on a really long ride or just come straight back from a tour it just only does only need a quick sort of jet wash off with some cleaner I'm just going to add some extra all-purpose cleaner to some areas where it hasn't rinsed straight off just to make the cleaning process a bit easier with the sponge, uh, well not the sponge in this case but the wash mitt um, and that will help agitate those areas a little bit more um, so there's not much surface dirt and as you can see the chains come up quite clean as well um, it pays to keep the chain in good condition for obvious reasons uh, clean motorbike also means that you can have a good look around and spot any issues with it defects etc it's a good time to have a good look over the bike now as you'll see I've started to go over the bike with the Wookiee's fist um, and it holds a lot of product, water and suds so that really does help you clean the bike sort of efficiently because it's got a big surface area but also when you're cleaning in areas like this which on an RR can be a pain in the ass, as, as with most bikes it really gets into the nooks and the crannies very very well 
um, and fits obviously over your hand so I'd recommend looking into getting something like this. Uh, I buy all my products generally from uh, a lot of the good professional online de detailing companies. I'd recommend a guy called John Hull at Clean and Shiny. Uh, Google him. He's um, in order shop and uh, very knowledgeable. Likes his toys, cars and gadgets. So if you've got a question about cleaning a certain area of your bike, well, you want to get any of the products I've mentioned today, he sells all of them. And uh, he's a thoroughly good lad as well. And a pal of mine from days gone by. So as you can see, this is getting into all the nooks and crannies, which is a laborious task, cleaning a bike. But it does make it much easier. And you don't really need to keep going over and over again. Usually I find one pass is enough but if you want to go over it once more, once it's rinsed, you can do. Now, just before the bike's ready to be dried, I do the last step. I just get some wheel cleaner. This is the last bit of uh, Auto Smart smart wheels that I've got. Just go over the wheels quickly. On the insides, it's good if you've got a front and a back stand, obviously, a paddock stand, because you can spin the wheels around to get into them. But a good quality wheel cleaning product if you've got some protection on there already like um, Swiss Wax Auto Barn or even one of the G-Technic wheel sealers will help you clean the wheels quickly. Um, and I'll take you onto that and what tools I use for that now. So using the remainder of the sun that I use for the main wash of the bike transfer that straight into this bucket here which has been cleaned already just store the mitt in there you can see how much water's running out of it and how much it holds I've got these two wheel woolly brushes and uh, they're very durable these have lasted me probably about five years again I bought these from Clean and Shiny from John Hull uh, well recommended and that's much you know pretty good for the rear wheel but you'll see it gets in to all your little nooks and crannies it means you can clean your wheel in you know best part of under a minute um, rinse it off and it looks as good as new so I tend to use this big one to get into all the big gaps and then use the little brush if I'm doing a more thorough clean detailing if you like but even so this big brush can get between all your gaps and your brakes clean all that off can even use it to clean in the areas around your radiator so again just dose it up load it with some soap it's already quite a bit of wheel cleaner on the wheel as you can see it's activating pretty fast again just spin the wheel around on the paddock stand and it's ready to be rinsed and dried easy as that so the next thing I do as soon as the bikes ready to be dried I don't leave it on the driveway to dry it I'll bring it straight in the garage and I'll explain why shortly so now you've got the bike into the garage and it's dry I bring it in for two reasons firstly it's a dry area and if it was to start to rain again it means I don't have to keep chamois or drying off any of the uh, rainfall and secondly I can just get a very very quick coat of something like Bright Max Spray and Shine, which takes away the, not completely, but removes the chances of getting water spots from hard water on the bike, and also leaves it with a pretty nice shine at the end. However, the most important reason is during my career as a police officer, I spent quite some time investigating um, some motorbike thieves and the one thing that we learnt is they'd quite often ride around or drive around on summer days in housing estates where the sun's out and most people with nice bikes decide to bring them out on a Saturday or Sunday to clean them and then dry them and they're sat on the drive during that whole time uh, being fiddled with. The longer the bike's outside your garage um, I tend to actually only wash the bike late on in the evening when there's not much foot traffic 
but in the 10 minutes it's taken me to clean it, three people have walked past and said, oh, nice bike, mate, and one guy even started engaging and talking to me about it. That's not what you want. You don't want people to know what's inside your garage. You also don't want them to know where you live. So get outside, wash it, get it back in, get it dried inside. Don't mess about with the bike outside if you can avoid it. Try and keep it inside at all times. So I'm now just going to towel it off and then it'll be done. So everyone's got a um, everyone's got a method for drying their cars or their bikes. Leather chamois, synthetic chamois. I like to use a nice big deep pile drying towel. Again, you can get these from the likes of Clean Shiny or other retailers. Um, they're plush. You can put them through the washing machine, and they're going to cause less damage to your paintwork. And also, they're very absorbent. So this one small towel will dry the whole bike really efficiently. Um, and obviously because it's quite big, if you get a dirty area, you just fold it over where you've missed a spot in the cleaning. Just fold it over and use that to clean, sorry, to dry the rest of the bike. So there you have it. Uh, 13 minutes that took me from filthy, dirty, 600 miles, unwashed, to back to showroom condition. It's about technique, not about loads of products or making it complicated. And your base layer, such as the G-Technic coating, will make the task much less difficult. Uh, for the application of that, I went to my good friend Paul Townsend at Auto Curate Curators over at Tilney Hall. If you Google him, it's Paul Townsend, autocurators.com. Um, previously of uh, Channel 5 and the Discovery Channel fame one of the world's leading details, detailers, um, and he put the G-Technic on this for me. If you want to get that done for your bike, let him know, contact him, tell him Johnny sent you, and he'll look after you. I've known Paul for many years, and he's also a keen motorcyclist himself. That's it, I'm done. Let everything dry off, and then tomorrow, I'll give the chain a little bit more of a uh, coating with some WD-40 advanced chain wax. which keeps it rust free and well lubricated and considering I only, well I probably cleaned that a thousand miles ago you can see that that's been kept in relatively clean condition there's still a good level of protection on there as well so I'll give that a bit more a, a bit more of a coat later on once it's dry before I take it out again but that's it locking the bike away now, whacking it up onto its uh, stands and um, getting it chained in and secured.